what's up you guys I'm nerdy I'm not I am notably nerdy Nat. welcome to my channel so it is 11 o'clock p.m. on June the 7th which means it is the first day of the 14 books in 14 days challenge started by Ruby Granger now I found this video her announcement video this morning and I thought wow if this isn't perfect timing I just got into the booktube community just finished crooked kingdom like five minutes ago as well as my vlog on the crooked kingdom and it is currently processing to be posted and that is my first book to be completed for the challenge though I did kind of cheat because I was halfway through it already but shh, we don't talk about that <laughs> So my second book for the challenge is The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I am about three chapters into it and I'm thinking I'm going to get to about maybe chapter 10 tonight. I'm listening to it on audiobook and that's not something I usually do but it's going a lot faster than if I actually read it because I struggle to stay still which means it takes me a long time to read books so this way I can move around and listen to the book so I get the book done quicker I don't know why I never thought of doing this before maybe it's because I just like having the book in my hand and the words in front of me but it does work for challenges where time is of the essence like this one so now I am going to go get some listening done and I will check in with you guys on day two. Hey you guys it is day two of the 14 books in 14 days challenge. It is 7 o'clock p.m. and I just finished The Red Queen despite staying up until one o'clock last night so I could finish chapter nine. Uh, so because of that I've been exhausted all day. I've been in this terrible mood so now my mom is mad at me oops but it'd be like that sometimes so you know she'll be over it in like two days so no it's fine i just have to avoid her until then so because of that my dad and i went out to dinner to this really good um mexican place that just opened by our house called margaritas i got these things called chilequies yeah that's how you pronounce it it was to die for you guys so between that and I had to go to Girl Scout camp for a couple hours to help set up I was a little delayed on finishing it I probably could have gotten it done earlier but oh well so I figured out around chapter 20 that I read faster than the audiobook speaks at even like times 1.75 the speed so I just found a copy online that I could read and I went with that. So Red Queen, I really enjoyed it. The entire time I wasn't really sure who to ship Ka um, Mare with. I was kind of shifting between Cal and Maven and you know that was solved for me in the end so I don't have to worry about that in the future books at least. But now I'm I might have to worry about Cal versus Killorn, I think is how his name is pronounced. So we'll see how that goes. <sighs> YA novels and these love triangles. Or maybe I just look for the love triangles. Who knows? I'm a sucker for drama. So there were some elements of the Red Queen that kind of reminded me of Throne of Glass. Like, Mare pretending to be a noble with a fake name and everything. It reminded me of when uh, Selena was pretending to be Lillian Gordana. Uh, there were some other books that it reminded me of. And I can't remember them right now because I'm just too exhausted. And I hope I'll remember them later. But honestly, knowing my brain, probably not. So I'm not really quite sure which book I'm going to read for tomorrow. It's, I'm kind of wavering between the Raven Boys and the 
Glass Sword, which is the second book in the Red Queen series. So that is just something I will decide tonight, and luckily it's not too late, so I have time. And I might just uh, put a little bit of a dent in Queen of Air and Darkness. I'm not going to be doing um, a video on that, so there's a little less pressure to read that, I guess. And I get to take my time with it. And I really do want to get into it, and I've been procrastinating it a lot, so... Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Uh, maybe watch a little bit of American Horror Story. I'm on Freak Show now. So, yeah, we'll see what the night holds for me. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Day 3 awaits. Hey, you guys. It is 1 a.m. So, technically, it is day 4. So, but for our purposes, it is still day 3. So, I just finished The Raven Boys. I chose that as my third book. And so, the first half was kind of boring. It took me a while to get into it. But once I got to the second half, things really started picking up and I could not put the book down. So, because I couldn't really get into it, I wasted a lot of time where I could have been reading today, so that's why I had to stay up so late to finish it. The finals, the men's finals of the um, French Open tennis tournament was today, so I watched that. Nadal won, but I don't think any of us really expected anything differently. So, my tennis fans, you know what I'm talking about. And I also went to play tennis today with my dad but then it started raining so we came home a little bit early and that's when I really started getting into the book and oh my gosh so like I said this like I said the second half it really starts picking up and that's like the second half is around where they go to Cabesworth for the second time and after that everything is just it's a mix of emotions. It's heartbreaking. It's terrifying. It's exciting all at once. And my heart was just racing and I could not put the book down. It was so, so good. Literally, I just, I couldn't believe the change of pace between the first part and the second part of the book. And another thing that changed for me between the first and second part is that I didn't like blue during the first part of the book but she kind of grew on me as I kept reading like at first she annoyed me in the way that Bella Swan annoys me like but I feel like that was just um the author coming into the character but that's also odd I don't know maybe she just didn't feel the flow with blue I don't know, because I immediately loved all of the scenes with uh, Gainsey and the boys. Those always felt like they had a lot more life, in my opinion. And then, ugh, I'm struggling to collect my thoughts, it's so late. The last line of the book, no spoilers here, but the last line of the book had me so shook. Like, I was wondering, like, why the trees in Cave Cavesworth knew Ronin, and I think it has something to do with what he said during that last line. Alright, so, I really need to get some sleep, which means I will not be starting the next book tonight, as I have been doing the past couple days. I have, um, the first day of Girl Scout camp tomorrow, which is going to be exhausting and not only that I have to be up at six o'clock so wish me luck uh less than five hours of sleep tomorrow's going to be fun and I really hope my parents never ever see this video because they will I don't know <laughs> saying they will kill me I feel like it's a bad idea because like, not literally, but you never know how things could be construed on the internet. So, for the 
this week, because I have Girl Scout camp, I'm probably going to be reading um, manga as my book of the day and then slowly working my way through a novel for um, the extra time that I have, if I have any. I'm probably going to be working on the second book in the Red Crown series, or I might even start attacking Queen of Air and Darkness. We'll see. But that is a problem for the Natasha of later today, I guess. <laughs> so I will see you guys on what will be considered day four of this book challenge. Hey guys, quick update today. Um, so I decided because I had a full day of watching 11 year old boys ma and making sure that they didn't kill themselves, I was going to take it easy today and read a manga as my book of the day. And I read Attack on Titan volume one. Well, more like reread it. I for I honestly forgot like how much the art has progressed throughout the course of the manga and going back to the beginning it's a little jarring as always the quality of the art isn't as good as it is as the story and the artist progresses so yeah, it's been weird to just look at these characters who I've grown so used to appearing completely different. And it's just, wait, who who are you? You don't look like what I'm used to. Not to mention, I usually follow Attack on Titan through the anime. So I'm used to seeing, in, seeing it in color. Which means seeing it in black and white skews my perception even more. So, needless to say, I struggled a little bit. It's been a while since I've read manga instead of wa just watching the anime. Because watching the anime is admittedly easier. Whoops. Um, so, uh, anyways, there was this scene at the beginning of chapter one where uh, Aaron was waking up from a dream, and I'm sure I'm not the first person who noticed this. This idea may have actually sparked from a post I've seen before. I don't know. I can't remember. But like I said, Aaron was waking up from a dream crying, and I thought, wouldn't it be crazy if that's how the manga ended with that same scene of Aaron waking up and then with after Mikasa woke him up, and he's just crying from a dream that he can't remember. So, yeah, I mean, besides that, I read about five chapters of The Dream Thieves, which is the second book in the Raven Cycle, because apparently I'm a little more into the Raven Cycle than I thought, and I could not resist just starting it. And I'm going to work my way through that book for the rest of the week. Probably for the rest of this week, my book of the day is going to be a manga. Because I just don't have the time or the energy to really complete a novel. So, plus I don't really own any novellas. or And I can't think of any off the top of my head. I mean, I think Akafas, A Court of um, Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass, counts is a novella, but I don't have that. So, once I've heard bad things about it, so I don't know if I'm actually ever going to read that. But yeah, so I'm going to read maybe a couple more chapters of The Dream Thieves, and then I am going to hit um hit bed early because I am tired <laughs> wow this turned out a little bit longer than I was expecting I was expecting this to be like a minute and a half whoops okay so that is day four I will see you guys on day five it's day five I think it's day five yeah that's 
that sounds right. Um, yeah. Um, Six of Crows for the Red Queen, the Raven Boys, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, it's Day 5. Um, so, <laughs> as you can see, I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> so, I read Volume 2 of Attack on Titan today because that's all I had the energy for. I barely had the energy for that. But you know what? I made it through. And for about 75% of it, my mind just, it could not think of anything but was what was on the page. And about like 75% of the way through, I started thinking, why the heck do people ship Marco and Jean? And then that was like my only thought the entire time. Oh, oh, also, um, at the end, when it was revealed that the Berserker Titan is Eren, I already knew that because I've seen the anime, and I've read the manga, and I've seen season one, like, three times. So, you know, plus the whole freaking plot is centered around that fact, so, you know, that's just a thing that everyone knows at this point, but still I was like, <gasps> Oh my god! You know, like the Pikachu meme? That was me. I don't know why. I just, I don't. But, I don't know. I think it's just because I'm tired. Or maybe, maybe that's just the way I react to reveals, even when I know that it's gonna happen. It's, it still feels dramatic. Who knows? I certainly don't. But, yeah. I mean, day two at camp was easier. But I'm still exhausted, so I'm gonna go to bed now. Even though it is literally not even 9 o'clock. Yeah, I mean, I, I really want to read some of Dream Thieves. I'm on chapter 12, 11 or 12 now. But you know, I just, I don't have the energy to read. So, bed. See you tomorrow. Day 6. Let's go. Volume 3 of Attack on Titan. <laughs> I don't have volume 4. I don't know what I'm gonna do on day 7. That's a problem for two days from now. See you guys later. So for day 6, I read volume... Day 6? Day 6! I'm gonna keep doing this for the rest of the week. I hope you guys know that. It's just, I'm too tired. So day six, I read volume three of Attack on Titan. And I also started watching the anime again. So I'm re-watching season one in sub, obviously, because I'm not a heathen who watches dub. <laughs> right. So I read, so I'm re-watching the first season so I can watch season two and three. I didn't watch season two because I wanted to wait until the whole thing was out. And then I just never got to watching it because I'm an idiot. So, you know, here I am finally getting around to it and I am shaking so much. Oh my god. I'm just, I keep hitting my hand against the wall. So, I don't really have that many thoughts on volume three. Except for, like, I always get confused in, like, the middle of the um trost arc for some reason like in the middle like literally like right in the middle with the transfer from um the first part with when the colossus uh attacked and their like Aaron just became um the the um titan his be titan form and no one knows that it's him through um when he they're under attack into like the very beginning of them trying to seal the hole I always get confused there and I have no clue why so that's just something I had to struggle through for like the fifth time in my life and that was not fun I am also on 
chapter 17 of the Raven Cycle, book 2, Dream Thieves. I don't know why I said the whole thing, but you know, well, here we are. I did it. So yeah, chapter 17. I have thoughts, but I am too tired to give them. And like yesterday, I totally forgot that I even had thoughts. So you know what? We're just probably gonna give them all once I'm done with the book. So that's just how that is. I'm gonna go to bed now. Night, y'all. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, it is day seven, and this is my second time filming this because I realized that when I filmed it the first time, I said day eight. Oops. So today I read volume five of Attack on Titan, and what it, the content it covered was basically just their days training in the 104th um, training corps. So, that was pretty, um, I don't know. It wasn't really anything. It was just, it was what it was. But, um, I thought that the anime just kind of added it in because I forgot that it came in after the whole reclaiming of trust thing. The anime does it more chronologically. The manga does it as a flashback. I prefer the way the anime does it. It's less confusing. It's like, wait, well, wait a minute. They went from their mom being killed straight to being soldiers. What the heck? So, yeah. And what happens in the anime is, like, immediately as they join the 104th, they look like their current character designs. But in the manga they start out looking younger because they are younger and they spend three years in the training corps and they grow during that time but the anime doesn't really show it they just suddenly look like 25 year olds so sure i guess because 12 year olds look like their 15 year old selves exactly like their 15 years old 15 year old selves apparently but what do i know i'm just a human that went through that period of time but um i also made it to chapter 27 of dream thieves today not many thoughts on that and even so i'm just gonna go over all my thoughts of dream thieves like when i finish the book so I'm going to go mentally prepare myself to get hit in the face multiple times with Pythons full of whipped cream tomorrow. That That's going to be fun. And also get some sleep. So adios. Hey guys, it is day nine. So day eight, yesterday I did not get to read at all except for like a few chapters of Dream Thieves. After camp yesterday, I went out with some of the other counselors in my unit, and we were out pretty late, but I do not regret regret it, um, not being able to read, because I had, like, the most fun I have had in a long time. So, today I had a lot of free time, because I was just too exhausted to get out of bed from Oh, the whole week of camp had just caught up to me. Plus, I can't really walk right now. I have a huge bruise on my knee that, for some reason, it hurts when I walk. But, um, I got that from sliding into a base while playing kickball with the kids. So, yeah. Uh, this is why I didn't slide when I played softball. And I'm, like, I went up to my parents today and I was like, you see this? This is why. When you told, yelled at me to slide, I did not. <laughs> so yeah, today I finished Dream Thieves. And after I film this, I'm going to uh, read volume 5 of Attack on Titan. So and after that, I will be all caught up on my reading for today and yesterday. So, I have kept saying throughout the week that I have had some thoughts on the Dream Thieves and that I would 
uh, tell you guys once I finish the book and well here they are so a lot of these throw back to like the beginning of the book like first of all when Ronan paid for uh, the Adam's room because of the change in tuition at Agliombi I was like hmm this this seems a little gay Ronan you, you want to tell us something? And it turns out, hell yeah, he does. Ronin is gay, and I freaking called it. Like, I, like, he was giving off those vibes with Adam, and I was like, okay, okay. I need to, like, step back a little bit because I'm still on my Jesper and Wyland high from Six of Crows. But no, I was right. Hell yeah. Let's go. Also, can we just talk about the part where Noah and Ronan were throwing stuff out of Ronan's window? And then, out of nowhere, Ronan's just like, you know what, let's just throw Noah. He's dead, not gonna hurt him anymore. So yeah, he just yeets Noah out the window, and I'm like, you know, sure, okay. Okay. I mean, I'll roll with it. It's It was pretty funny. And also, um, when... Kavinsky brought Ronan the leather bands. I was like, hold up a second. Because they were identical to the ones that Ronan had on his wrist already. So I was thinking, huh, maybe he's like Ronan. Maybe he can pull stuff from his dreams. And it turns out, yeah, the last half of the book, the plot literally is circulating around Ronan and Kavinsky both being able to pull stuff from their dreams. Well, maybe not the last half, maybe like the last quarter. I don't know. I was reading it online, so I couldn't really tell. And another thing, Blue and Noah kissed? Ew. Like, gross. No thank you. I get like a very brother-sister vibe from Noah and blue so when they kissed it just it felt wrong to me as opposed to that steamy scene <laughs> steamy I say steamy like it actually means anything for blue and Gainsey steamy means they get like within arms length of each other <laughs> wait <sighs> god the almost kiss scene with blue and Gainsey it just had so much chemistry so much more chemistry than she has with Noah or Adam and I just Mm, my heart. And I mean, I know it's supposed to be that way because, like, Blue does. I'm. I know she ends up with Gainsey because we all. That's just like a fact of the series. That's obvious from, like, the literally the first chapter of the first book. So you know, hey, yeah, nothing you can do about that. And looking at my notebook, that's about all I have on Dream Thieves. Um last thoughts on the book as a whole it felt more like a explanation for stuff that was revealed at the end of the raven boys and a setup for what is going to happen with the rest of the series so i have uh blue lily lily blue pulled up on my web browser right now actually so once I finish volume 5 of Attack on Titan, I'm going to get right on that. And after that, I'm just going to breeze right into the Raven King. And those are going to be my books for the next couple days. After I finish this series, we are definitely getting back to the Red Queen series. And I can't even remember what the second book is called right now. So we'll worry about that when the time comes. But I have some reading to do. So see y'all tomorrow. Hey you guys. It is two days post the 14 books in 14 days challenge. I read 11 books instead of 14. So what happened was Blue Lily Lily Blue took me two days to finish because I wasn't thrilled with it. It was a very boring book to me. So it took me a while to get through. It was kind of rough for me to get through. And then the day after I finished it, my grandmother came. So I spent um, two days literally just with her the whole time and I didn't have time to read at all not even like manga and then two hours before the end of the challenge I was like 
oh no, I haven't been doing my reading, and I had four books to read, volumes 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's five books. Wait a minute, I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I double checked it, and Blue Lily Lily Blue took me three days to finish. So the days in between I finished volume five and I finished Blue Lily Lily Blue, I was supposed to read volume six and seven of Attack on Titan. And then after I finished Blue Lily Lily Blue, I wanted to read The Raven King and then The Glass Sword, but that did not happen. Like I said, my grandmother came, I didn't have time to read, so I was like, okay, I'll just read some manga. Um, volumes 8 and 9 of Attack on Titan. I screwed it up on my book list, and that's why I got confused. So I wrote volume 10 instead of volume 9. So anyways, that's not important. So I just, like I said, I didn't read it all, and also on... The day I was supposed to read volume 8, I could not tear myself away from the Raven King when I did get the time to read. And I just couldn't bring myself to read the Attack on Titan manga at all. So then, yeah, like, I, I said this already too, two hours before the end of day 14, I realized that I had not read any of those four manga, so I whipped out my phone brought up Kiss Manga, and I started reading. So in that two hours, I only managed to read through volume six and volume seven, but that was, I was exhausted. So I think I also oh, fell asleep for like 30 minutes in the middle of that. So that might be why I didn't get through volume eight, because I think I could have made it through volume eight, which, am I counting right? I think I'm counting right. Because I, if I have 11 books. But I didn't read 8 and 9. That, But that's 13. Okay. I went and double checked again. I read 12 books, not 11. That makes me feel a little bit better. I only missed by 2 books instead of 3. Oh my god, I'm such a mess tonight. I am so sorry, you guys. I I just had a long night. I was babysitting. It's fine. I should have filmed this two days ago when I when it was the end of the challenge. Whatever. So, yeah. Needless to say, I didn't finish. Um, but the last two days, I've just been reading too much because my grandmother's jet lag finally hit and I've had a lot of time to read, and I haven't been able to tear myself from the Attack on Titan manga, so I'm planning on finishing that um, probably tomorrow, because I have about uh, 30 chapters left. Never mind, it might take me two days, but next week I have a tennis camp, and it's an away camp, so I'm probably not going to be reading at all, and when I get back, I plan on reading the, I think it's called the, is that, they're the hundredth or the thousandth floor? I don't know. But while I'm at uh, camp, I'll be able to read The Raven King since it's on my phone. So, you know, that's good at least. But yeah, so that's the end of that. 12 books in 14 days. Didn't quite make the challenge, but I did pretty good. And I will aim to complete it fully next year. So thank you for coming along on this journey with me. It has been very long, I know. So if you made it to the end, congratulations. Have a video of me remaking Vines with the girls I babysat today. Adios. See you next time. I want to see my little boy. Here he comes. I want to see my little boy.